Hi, I'm Tommy Dickinson with Lincoln Electric. I'm alongside Ivan Grasick, product manager for the brand new Square Wave TIG 200. We've talked about the Square Wave and we'd like to dive into a little more advanced features, specifically the pulse feature. Ivan, uh, could you give us a couple examples of the benefits to pulse? Sure, so when you think about pulse TIG, there's really two main benefits or advantages. You know, the first benefit is that it actually helps one become a better TIG welder faster. Second primary benefit is it actually helps when you're the TIG welding on thinner materials, and we'll get into that in a little bit. Okay. Um, but in order to activate your pulse setting on the square wave TIG, we'll use the settings button here. And out of the box, you'll notice that your machine here is set to 100 amps. In order to activate pulse, we press this button until the pulse LED is illuminated. It's at this point where we could actually activate or adjust the pulse by using this button to make sure it's illuminated. Mm -hmm and adjusting it to a frequency range between 0.1 pulses per second to 20 pulses per second, which is the maximum pulse frequency. Okay, now can we use this, um, can you pulse on AC and DC? You can actually. So on this machine, you can operate pulse in both DC or AC TIG. Okay. And right now we're in the AC TIG mode, but if you were to just press this button here, which is our mode button, now we're on DC TIG and the feature is also available. I also see that pulse kind of fluctuating from a slow, slow beat per second to a really steady pace. Yeah. Um, what's the feature of that? Here you'll notice that your LED actually blinks at a frequency that's consistent with your pulse frequency. As I lower that frequency down to a value that, let's say for this example, we're at one pulse per second, it's actually blinking at one pulse per second. Okay. And there's an advantage to that. So if you're newer to TIG welding, helps provide a reference point for which when you're uh, depositing filler metal into your puddle, that pulse gives you instructions or guidance. So it's, it's like a drum beat or a timer. So for every pulse at a low pulse frequency, you're depositing that filler metal into the puddle, increasing bead consistency. Okay. Now with this feature, you'll notice that when I activated pulse after about five to six seconds, it actually exited and returned back to the main amperage. So now you'll notice here that we're back at the main amperage set point. Okay. But your pulse is still blinking here. So we're gonna go right back into it and talk a little bit about what it does. So at a main amperage of 100 amps, which we could call your peak current in this example, you're pulsing between 100 amps and a background amperage that is 50% of your peak current. So for every pulse, it's 100 amps, 50 amps, 100 amps, 50 amps. Okay. And that pulse between peak and background actually helps cool the puddle and minimizing material distortion, which is the benefit when you're welding on thinner materials. Right, you don't blow through your, your material. Exactly. Okay. And that really just about covers your pulse feature on the square wave tag. Well, excellent. Well, thank you very much for your time. Yeah. We'll be back uh, with more features of the square wave TIG 200.